Oh, he's bigger. Yeah. Oh, that was because we we're having that conversation about the curry. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, we can use that. Uh, anytime you talk. Oh, bloody hell. We're trying to find out. Um, we're trying to. This is new. We're, I don't know even know if you'll be able to hear us because of the road noise. But we decided to put a camera. That's the camera there that you guys are looking out of in the corner of the truck, so we can record interesting conversations that we're having as we're driving. Um, and I just started talking about the best way to cook terakey. That, that oh, that's my ten cents. I think the best way to cook frozen terakey and frozen blue cod and other frozen fish is to um, put it in a curry. But I get, I've got to get the bloody ingredients now, don't I? All right. So what do you do? You fry, lightly fry onions um, and garlic and a little bit of oil. Don't brown them. Just just make them soft and cooked. And then, uh, what do you put? Uh, slice some ginger up, some lemongrass, some uh, green curry or red curry, not your traditional curry powder, it's got to be green curry paste or red curry paste. A um, couple of lime leaves off a tree, cap of lime leaves, if you don't have those normal lemon leaves, we are fine. Uh, I'll probably use galungal ginger too, it's even more than ginger, but either or works. And then just get a, um, an oxo cube, either chicken stock or vegetable stock or beef stock. <coughs> I prefer vegetable or chicken. Um, bang that in there with a can of coconut cream. Uh, once it's hot, chop your frozen fish up and just chuck it in and bring it off the heat and let it cool down. And that cook, that fish will cook as it cools. Well, you can put carrots and all that shit in there too. It's bloody good. A bit of sweet chili sauce with a little bit of sugar and salt and pepper. Oh yeah, I actually bought the um, bloody ingredients with us to make curry crayfish, but we're not camping there tonight. We're just coming back home. This Smitty has to go and hold hands with his wife tomorrow. I'm not under the bus. He's, he's not actually. Don't make, he's it, don't make out like I'm under the bus because I'm not. He's building a jet boat. Smitty's got to go home tomorrow and build his jet boat. Priorities. Oh, but I wonder how much he did okay, they didn't shoot. Yeah. Maybe we should focus on that. Well, actually, they didn't shoot 296 Tarka. Okay. <laughs> look at out, um, look at out. Why people like jet boating so much is because you can pretty much drive a bike and stolen everywhere, can't you? I mean, it's not like you have to be a pretty good motorbike rider to be able to drive a motorbike as hard and fast as it can go. Yeah. You can't do it with a car because it's illegal. But jet boating, just pull up, yeah, pull up and just give it. Don't put any big dents in it. <laughs> What'd you give it to me? <laughs> yeah, I've got to remind you of that. We just smoked that big rock. Look at that! Bloody flat as a pancake. I don't know if we'll be able to get the boat out yet. Should we just bang it out here? Uh, we'll have a look at the mouth bay and see what it's like. Remember what happened last time I went out here? It looks a bit choppy out at sea too, doesn't it? The mouth looks sweet from here. How we got a jet boat? I don't know, Pringer might be closer to get to the better fishing now, eh? Yeah. No, I don't. Do you know? No, I don't know. talking about TPPA and um, neither of us like it or want it happening in our country but none of us actually know what it is. <laughs> I guess we should probably research it before we jump the gun and decide we don't like something. Uh, could someone out there explain to us what TPPA is? Jesus, she's a bit marginal. The river's pretty low. We'll get the boat in there, just. But there's not much water in there. It's a brand new boat, so I'm a little bit concerned about scratching it. I'm not actually allowed to scratch it, but we've got to be into wind, don't you? So I think we're just going to give it a crack. And hopefully we don't sink it. How's that jet unit clearance as I come down the bottom? What's the guts? Oh, that's all right. Do we put the bung in? Is there a bung? 
There's uh, too much weight on the trailer with the boat and the angle of the dangle is too steep to get it back up with the boat on it. So we'll just deal with that later. I think we'll put the boat in the trailer in the water and tow it up on a rope. And Smitty's going to have to <laughs> dive deep with his hands to get the bung in. What a good bastard, eh? We may not be able to get the truck up even with the trailer on. We should be able to. Bloody hell, 10 minutes later, Smitty's finally parked up to give me a hand and I got the truck out. We had to take the bloody trailer off. We've been up and down, up and down. Just broke through the hard shit on top, hit that soft stuff underneath. It was into the truck, out of the truck, into the truck, out of the truck. Bloody Smitty's doing donuts out in the middle of the um, river there. I hit record on the GoPro, but it kept turning itself off for some reason. All right, we're in the boat, we're on the river. What else is gonna go wrong today? Mate, what are your first impressions of this boat? I want one. I'm going to kick the missus out and get one of these. <laughs> it's unreal, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's just, um, as you can see, there's a wee bit of chop out there. Not too much, and it hasn't sucked there once. It just eats stuff up for breakfast. It's so good. So awesome. Really low planing speed. Straight up on the plane. Holding on, bro? Yep. Visibility is going to be marginal. Because without that bloody depth sound, the fish finder, it's so hard to see what the bottom's doing or where the rocks are, or where the structure is. We're just running blind here. I think we'll go over there by those rocks, give it a crack. Winter diving, we're both not super keen. The vis isn't super great. But uh, it's not that bad either. New spot, could be good, could be crap. Only one way to find out. This boat is awesome, mate. It's just unreal. Straight down the river, out into the sea. Need to get one. I concur. Except for the need to get one, but I've already got one. Jason, you're not getting it back. Sorry. <laughs> nah, shit, mate. I can't even see the end of my spear. We should go over there to that shallow shit, eh, and see if there's any power. Yeah, bro. Well, so far we've caught a couple of undersized blue cod and a uh, granddaddy harp hooker and that's it shit visibility, no power, no craze still a good day to be catching bugger all mate, I've been here for about 20 minutes now couple of undersized blue cod, that's it really missing that bloody simrad I think we're going to go down and see if we can find the reef that runs off that beach down there this is a good reef that comes out 
somewhere down there. Finding it without a fish find is going to be hard though, without a sounder. He's very blue, isn't he? Sure, bro. He's a keeper. We're on the board. Bloody hell, it only took three hours. Way we got up at 4.30 this morning to come all the way down here for one blue cod. I think we've got three cod. <laughs> Far. We haven't had a bite in about an hour. We haven't caught a fish in about two hours. We've moved to four different spots. We've got three blue cod in the chili bin. They must have just gone completely off the bite. It's got to be uh, one of the worst days fishing I've ever had. Still, what do you reckon, Smitty? Should have gone to work. Ah, oh, work. Don't say that word. dilemma getting the boat on the trailer out of the river Sweet! <laughs> Never a dull moment, I tell you. Oh, I was hoping he wouldn't make that. <laughs> ah, damn it! There's no way we're going to get that out. <laughs> oh. oh, that was sweet. I thought it was going to be right up my neck. There's deer prints along the edge here. G'day, mate. Look what I caught. One cod. One. Hey, puss. Jeez, this is well. The family's not here. I probably don't have enough to feed the cat. 